Why would Bud Light start this new ad campaign conservatives hate? As far as I know Bud Light has always been the choice of conservative country type people. But now that they've gone woke, it's just making conservatives hate them. Are they trying to reach out to a younger audience? Or just what do they stand to gain from a business standpoint here? Because they will buy it again in two weeks and get talked about endlessly in the meantime. Most people legitimately do not give a flying fuck. Edit these people conservatives vastly overestimate their value to large national brands. Meanwhile New York City alone has a larger population than 38 states. Budweiser is owned by Belgian company AB InBev and the US is the brand's largest market. It is currently the top-selling beer in America. Boycotts like this rarely make any noticeable difference in sales. A few dumb celebrities post videos of themselves shooting cans or whatever. And then everybody forgets. It's likely this move was made to target a younger and more female demographic if Bud feels they're losing ground in those areas. Math. They can read all the polls the GOP can't read. Woke is just mainstream social change at this point. Conservatives think they have a much larger market share than they do in reality. Conservatives are a political minority. It makes sense to cater to the larger demographic. And there are more people who are pro-LGBTQ than people who anti. Were you talking about Bud Light on Reddit two weeks ago? That's why any company does marketing campaigns. There are likely a lot of reasons but the thing I keep coming back to is perhaps the anti-LGBT. Community isn't as big as they think they are. Like you have the liberal side of the country and the anti-liberal. Perhaps we can't base the size of these groups based on the noise they make. Hot take. Someone higher up genuinely supports LGBTQ. Economics. There are more progressives. And they have more money. Why would you market to a slowly dying off section of loud idiots who will wee your beer to performatively throw it away again? From a strategic perspective, I would imagine they're trying to increase their market share among liberal people. I'm sober but almost all of my friends are liberal and tend to drink more unique local brews rather than the big chain company products. Also leadership in the company probably genuinely supports the LBGTQ movement and could give a fuck what people think about them in regards to that specific topic. Kinda nice to see a massive company like this being true to themselves. Whereas most try their hardest to hide their potentially controversial beliefs. If I never heard the term they've gone woke again it would be too soon. All the major beer companies have been advertising to LGBT communities and sponsoring pride events for decades. Deal with it woman shrugging light skin tone. The same reason any company does anything. Because it makes money. Maybe it's because there are a lot more left-wing people out there than right-wing. Maybe it's because any publicity is good publicity. Maybe it's because they're trying to gain more young people. But whatever the reasoning, it's because it makes money. It's a corporation, not a person. It doesn't have morals, feelings, or social insights. Bud Light is owned by AB InBev. They own around 70 of the beer. 7 out of every 10 beers you see on the shelves are theirs. If this hurts their business at all it will likely be insignificant. Meanwhile, they are getting a ton of free advertising. All this hating on Bud Light from conservatives is just giving the company free promotion. Publicity. 
These homophobic people throwing out their already purchased beer costs bud like nothing. Once Fox News moves on to the next culture war item, they'll go right back to purchasing the beer. What the MAGAs forget is that there was never a country more founded on the wokeness of its day than America circa 1776, 1789 or since. America has been woke, for the most part from its founding. That's what makes it exceptional. If anything does. Going anti-woke or resisting the basic tendency if Americans to seek out expanded rights and greater liberalism is, at its base, un-American. Honestly, outside of chick fil -a, what major companies don't show support for LGBTQ anymore? I know a lot of them have been doing it for decades already so this isn't anything new. I wonder how Disney is faring right now. After the massive boycott over their support of LGBTQ. Oh. Wait. A new episode of The Mandalorian dropped yesterday and I forgot let me turn on Disney so I can. Watch it. Bud Light isn't a conservative beer. It's just a beer. And they've done the math on who they'd lose versus who they'd gain from marketing this way and they think it'll pan out in their favor. Pandering is only pandering of your saying what the majority agrees with. You can't claim a brand is simultaneously out of touch and pandering. Bud has had LGBT-friendly ads and marketing since the 90s. So I imagine their data shows that it makes business sense. I doubt they'd jeopardize their profits just to upset ultra-conservatives. Homophobes are a minority in the U.S., and it's a rapidly shrinking demographic. Albeit a very loud one. They have actually been supporting the movement in one form or another since the 90s. The reason it's so ridiculously overblown now is because of the state of the nation. They know where the money is it and is going to be for the long haul. And it isn't a 40 years old white person with a beer gut and a failing liver. There's no such thing as bad media exposure. This gets them tons. Well Bud Light and other beers have supported LGBTQ rights with ads and sitch since the 90s. Conservatives only decided recently that they wanted to get mad about it. Additionally, while Bud is the choice of many conservative types, it's only a fraction of their business. In fact, since beginning the latest ad campaign, their sales have gone up quite a bit and I do have that evidence to provide. To answer why Bud decided to run the ad. Well companies don't usually base their business decisions on how fascists or Nazis will feel about it. So why would they be afraid of bigots and homophobes? Allying with LGBT is always beneficial from a business standpoint. Identifying with left-wing idpol always puts companies in a positive light. And therefore their products. Plus it triggers the righties. Which is always a bonus. They've been woke before it was a thing tbh. People are just dumb. Edit to add corporations in generally basically invented wokeness not because they care. But to appeal to a wider audience. Bud Light went woke decades ago because they realized that LGBTQ people spend a shit ton more. Money on booze than the loudmouth conservative minority. Conservatives will forget real quick. They have memories of a goldfish and half the intelligence. In the meantime BL sells a bunch of rainbows.